Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I've got 33 bread and butter bolos coming your way. Items that I bought at thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, YouTube uh, selling events, or Facebook Marketplace. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. These are items that I sold on eBay for $35 or less. And so the first item I sold are these Tales of Glory Bible Story David, Mary, Noah, Moses figures. And these sold for $25.20 and the buyer paid shipping. I got these at a garage sale for 50 cents each. So I was all in for $2. The buyer with tax and shipping, when I say all in, that means tax and shipping. I do charge the buyer shipping. Um, the all in price was $32.25. All right. The next item I sold is this 2015 Microsoft Halo 5 Guardian Spartan. I had no idea what this was. I used Google Lens to figure it out. Um, I got this out of a mystery box, not something I would typically source because I don't know who this figure is. Um, that's what's nice about thrift store mystery boxes is I learn, but I ended up taking a best offer of $10 on this and the buyer was all in for 16. The next item I sold is this necklace and clip on earrings set. This came from a garage sale. It was just, they had a bunch of stuff. If I remember correctly, it was sitting like in a shoe box and I just bought all of it. Uh, this did take a little while to sell. I do feel like costume jewelry for me, I don't know if it's because I have bad keywords or what. I don't know a whole lot about jewelry, but um, it did sell. And I ended up taking a best offer of $16 and the buyer was all in for $23.16. The next item that sold is this Jello Pudding Pop sticker. You guys, this is a single sticker from 1984. Um, I sold this two of these. So they put two in their cart for $16. So $8 each. And they were all in for $22.42 for two stickers, you guys. I picked these up at a garage sale and a bulk lot of stickers. If you would like to see all of the items I got, it was a super score. I paid like $3 for a whole bag full. And that unboxing is over on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. All right, this little squirrel, you guys, this is a major bread and butter, but I had to list this. Look how darling this little squirrel is. It is flocked. Flocked items have a tendency to do pretty well, and it's made in Japan. And if you guys know me, you know I love selling made in Japan items, even the little cheap ones. This sold for $8.63. The buyer was all in for $15.02, and I paid $0.75 cents for this at a thrift store. The next item I sold is this 1991 Play School Victorian Dollhouse Replacement Stair Railing. So what I did is I took apart the playhouse because it was damaged and missing parts, and I parted it out. This is the second one that I've done this with. This railing sold for $32.40 plus shipping. If you can find um, the original dollhouse in excellent condition, oh my goodness, talk about a bolo. The next item I sold is this vintage miniature metal die cast pencil sharpener. And this came out of a mystery toy box that I purchased from Auctions For You. Um, I do have an unboxing on my channel. All of the items were new old stock items, except for a small bag of smalls toys that she threw in because she knows that I really like um, old toys, uh, stuff that I have to figure out what it is. So she did throw in a small bag of those, but that unboxing is on this channel. If you just type auctions for you into my YouTube search bar, you can find that. This ended up selling for $10 and 80 cents. The buyer was all in for 15 90. The next item is this vintage Hannah Barbara quick draw McGraw. I did not know who he was. And I was doing a live listing show and one of you guys, I'm betting, was who told me who this was. So I appreciate your help. Thank you so much. Um, I'm actually doing this video right now before I'm getting ready to go live on my reseller testing Bolo products. So what I do is I go live and I um, have working hangouts. So I sit and I list and you guys list and we just talk in the chat and it's a great way to stay motivated and get stuff listed. So anyway, this guy I picked up at a thrift store for about a buck and I sold him for $15.84, all in for $24.99.
The next item I sold are some more stickers from that sticker lot, you guys. I ended up taking a best offer of 10 on these and the buyer was all in for $15.51. Again, these are from 1984 and they're Where's the Beef stickers from Wendy's, you guys. How fun is that? The next item is this Willie the Worm Avon pen. It's a fragrance glaze pen. And I picked these up at a thrift store for 50 cents each. You guys, I have sold so many of these. If you see these and you can pick them up cheap, you definitely want to do that. Even if they don't have the box, they will still sell. This sold for $15.84 and the buyer was all in for $20.94. The next item is this Disney, so Disney store, Sophia the First Amber. This is not the main character. This is, I think, I think she's like the friend. Not 100% sure on that. I don't think it's the sister. Um... I sold this for $20. The buyer was all in for $25.80. And I got this at a garage sale with a whole bunch of Disney plush. I did pay up a little bit. I paid $4 for her. Um, they ended up, it was like the whole, they gave me a price and I talked them down. They wanted five each. So I got them down to four each. And some of them were, I think one sold for like $65. So it was a good deal. But typically I like to spend a little less on my plush. The next item is this vintage nap. Napco Wear Porcelain Christmas Elf um, or Choir Girl. I'm not really sure what she is. And I sold this for $14.39 and the buyer was all in for $19.49. The next item I sold are these vintage hair clips. Now, I have talked about vintage hair clips before. These are not the Goody brand, you guys, but they are the same stay tight style, but these were not marked um, Goody. But you do want to make sure that you can show. See how I'm showing in the picture? These are the stay tight. And I guess they're just really, really good. So I ended up selling these best offer of $35. And the buyer was all in for $42.80. And I got these at a garage sale for $0.50 cents approximately. Again, it was a big lot of hair things. I have an unboxing video. I believe that one is on this channel. Um, but crazy. If you watched my uh, trailer. I show the one that you really want to be on the lookout for. So check out my trailer if you haven't already. The next item is this Fisher Price Little People Nativity Shepherd Boy from 2013. On the bottom, you guys, it has a date. I recommend putting that in the title because a lot of people are looking for specific characters to go with their set to complete it. And I got this, um, I think this was at a garage sale, just like a bulk lot of stuff. So probably a quarter and I sold it for $12.24. The buyer was all in for $18.58. The next item I sold is this vintage miniature plastic little doll. Um, and it's funny because her little skirt is actually like connected at the top. So it's supposed to show her hiney. <laughs> but it's made in Japan. It's super, super cute. I don't know. It's kind of silly. It's just a little plastic doll. I don't know if it's a dollhouse figure or what. But I ended up selling this for $10. The buyer was all in for $16.17 plus shipping. And if I remember correctly, I got her with a bunch of dollhouse stuff. The next item is this LPS Little Pet Shop Stackable Rooms. It's a lot of four. These came in a thrift store mystery toy box. And I sold these for $10. The buyer was all in for $17.27. The next item is the Slatkin um, for Bath and Body Works Scent Portable Holder. This is the Pink Skunk. Um, I have four of these and I sold one. I sold it for $9. The buyer was all in for $14.61. And this came out of a thrift store mystery box also. The next item is this vintage Fisher Price Adventure People Paramedic Woman from 1974. Um, I got this also in a mystery toy box from Auctions for You. And I was actually shocked at how quickly this sold. Um, I sold this for a best offer of $13 and the buyer was all in for $19.51. The next item I sold is this little ornament. This is what it looks like here. It is from 1992. It's Carlton Cards. Um, I enjoy selling ornaments. I think they're really easy to list and really easy to ship. And some of them can be surprisingly like a big money bolo. But this one was just a bread and butter. And I sold this for $11. The buyer was all in for $17.86. And I got this at a thrift store for 50 cents. The next item I sold is this Speedy Gonzalez plush. And I got this at a thrift store for a buck. And I sold it for a best offer of $12. The buyer was all in for $20.96. The next item are these 1998 Debbie Mum plates. Um, these did take a while to sell. I have sold this brand before. 
Um, somebody offered me 15. I went ahead and took that. And with tax and shipping, the buyer was all in for $40.73. So these were kind of heavy. Um, so the shipping cost was kind of high, which is probably why it took a little longer to sell. The next item is this Yowie Hammerhead Shark. You guys, this is a little teeny mini figure. Let me show you here. That big, two inches, just a little guy. But um, that Yowie, I've done okay with that brand. Now they are long tail. You have to wait on the right buyer. But I ended up selling this for $6.50. The buyer was all in for $11.66. That's what the bottom looks like. The next item I sold is this vintage Disney Mickey Mouse koozie. And you guys probably saw this on 10 items that sold in 10 days or less. This is another one that I listed. And I was like, should I even list this? I just felt like it was kind of like dirty. I felt like it was faded. But maybe that's the color of green it's supposed to be. But you guys, this flew out of my store. Um, I sold this for a best offer of $10 and the buyer was all in for $17.03 and I got this at a garage sale for 50 cents. The next item I sold is this grocery cart. It's for an 18 inch doll. I got this at a garage sale and it was just thrown in with some other stuff that I bought. So I don't really have anything in it. It sold for a best offer of $12. The buyer was all in for $24.07. The next item is this Slatkin for Bath and Body. It's another one of those. I had four of these, you guys. And this one, let's see. They bought three of them, I believe, for $21.60. I think one sold and then they came back and bought three more. I don't know if it was the same buyer or not. But they were all in for $25.65. And those also came out of a thrift store mystery box. The next item is this Mr. Christmas Matchbox Metal melodies jingle bells is what it plays and this little part right here spins around it's super super cute these are definitely something that uh, they sell quick and you definitely want to pick them up if you see them this sold for 23 dollars. the buyer was all in for 28.25 and that came out of a thrift store mystery box the next item i sold are these paw patrol little puppets and these uh, i got at a thrift store for 50 cents i sold them for ten dollars and 80 cents and the buyer was all in for eighteen dollars and 19 cents so they're just little finger puppets like for the bath or like a uh, plastic or vinyl so um just quick little sale really they sold pretty quickly the next item is this vintage chalkware mcm which is mid-century modern kissing lips angelfish I picked this up at a garage sale for a dollar and I took a best offer of 30. The buyer was all in for $33.85. Um, I do feel like I could have held out for more, but it was one of those days where I just wanted to move some inventory. And as you can see right here, I don't know what's going on with it, but I did wipe it down and those marks did not come off. So it was not in perfect condition. So $30, I was happy with that. The next item is this Thomas and Friends Trackmaster Boat and Sea Track playset, Missing the Train. This also came out of a mystery box. And I ended up taking a best offer of $25, and the buyer was all in for $38.06. The next item here are these vintage kitchen collectibles, two gingerbread men and one son. I think that's a son. Uh, these came out of a Christmas mystery box from a thrift store. I ended up taking a best offer of $30, and the buyer was all in for $43.01. And that sold pretty quick also. The next item I sold is this alphabet machine. It's by Lakeshore and it's like a uh, pop-up answering button machine. And I got this at a garage sale for a buck and it sold for $30. The buyer was all in for $44.31. The next item here is another one of those Avon fragrance glaze pens. And I sold this one for 15 on best offer. The buyer was all in for $21.10 and I got this at a thrift store for 50 cents. All right, you guys, the last item I have here are these Barbie shoes and accessories. Um, they're vintage to now, and it, there's some skates and some shoes. Some of them say China. I, I just got these in a lot of stuff. I think that's like a little weight. But anyway, I just listed it as is, and I took a best offer of $20. The buyer was all in for $25.10, and I got these at a thrift store for $1. These items were cross-posted, or most of them were, to Mercari and Poshmark and sold faster on eBay. Um, I use List Perfectly to cross-post. If you're interested in an extension that helps you cross-post your items quicker, there is a link in the description that um, will show you how I do that. It is... Um, the extension is called List Perfectly, and you can get 30% off your first month with coupon referral code BOLA Buddies. And again, watch the demo video down below. Make sure it's right for you. Um, I do not use the catalog. There is a catalog option. So um, 
that may be of interest to you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. There's going to be some other videos popping up and a subscribe button down here. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Um, if you're interested in Bolo Buddies merch, there is a link down below. Thank you again for being here. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and check out another video. Thanks for watching.